How you doing out there? Kaiser. Sheepdog. Denim series. Red denim. Not blue denim, right? I got my blue denim still. I thought, hold on. I think I got my blue one still. And there it is. There's my blue denim one. Okay. And they come in these, these rolled up pouches things. Okay. So I think the only difference between this one and that one is the color of the scales. And it's in that denim series, but they hadn't had this, you know, this color of denim micarta yet. And so Chris Conaway designed, of course, the Sheepdog. This is a full size. It's in the Vanguard series because it's a 154 CM. So it's not like, you know, C 20 CV or 3V or any of that kind of high end steel. It's a 154 CM. It's a good user steel. Uh, it's a stainless and yeah this is the full size dog and it's a liner lock and there's your lock up about 30 percent on that okay drops real easy and then there's the denim pouch and there's my my smash box uh yeah red denim okay c 101 um it is nice action. This is easy. And you know what? I like it better without the flipper tab. I really do. This is really easy to finger flick or just roll out with your thumb. It is not too heavy. It is not too light. It is just right. It's not too long. It's not too short. And what do we got here for weight? 4.4 ounces, not bad at all, really. Uh, 125 grams, there you go. All right, and it comes with extra hardware, okay? So all kinds of stuff, that looks like pocket clip screws as well as body screws. And then, oh yeah, there's a uh, microfiber cloth in there with that. And of course this, and there was some stickers. Okay. So if you, if you haven't gotten one of these, I mean, they were out like a year ago or something like that with the denim series premiering and this and that. And so they were, these were part of the deal, right? And you could, you know, you could take that and you could stick that patch on your patch wall if you want, whatever, that kind of thing. Kaiser denim, okay? So you can do that, plus, look at this. Okay, so you get this pocket here, okay? Well, it goes all the way down here, right? And then this one as well, okay? So all three of these go all the way down, but there's actually a pocket here. So you could have one, two, three, four, five, six knives in there, technically, and then tactical pen, or little flashlight type thing, something like that in there, right? So there's a lot of stuff that you could haul in that if you just wanted to load a few knives up and take them with you, you know, for this or that, a meetup or whatever. So that's fine too. And that's just part of the deal. And I think that, I think this thing was around 79 bucks. You know, and you may be able to get it for less. Uh, so, I don't know. I mean, you'll have to look at uh, your retailer. Now, I'll give you the link to Kaiser. And Kaiser, they, they have a clearance section on their website. But then they've got some sales that come and go as well. So, you might want to check with them. And then they got that Friday Club where they do individual type of stuff and, you know, it's only a limited run stuff that you can get on there. So you got to check that out. Uh, something about their Facebook group. You, you ought to check that out as well. See if there's some other, uh, some other discounts and stuff available through that. Okay. But the Sheepdog, I like it. It's easy to carry. Uh, the Ergos are great. I mean, this thing has been in the XL. It's been in the Mini. 
the Mini has had, you know, a fat carbon fiber. Uh, it's had micarta. It's had carbon fiber. It's had G10. It's had a flipper tab. It's had a detachable flipper tab. It's had, oh my God. I mean, just so much. It's been in, oh God, was it 4V or 3V? And, uh, you know, different, different steels, uh, 20CV, different things like that. So th there's just been so much. Uh, and, you know, it's been really popular knife. And this one, you know what? That's only right hand tip up, isn't it? Okay. Uh, anything else? Yeah, denim, you know, that kind of thing. So, wow. Yeah, it feels good in the hand. The pocket clip is not obnoxious really it's pretty flat near here so i'm not feeling it right now at least uh, no and uh yeah but you can't move it i mean it's right hand tip up only but i like this red it's not a real like weathered out look this is this is nice this is nice of course you can always like put some WD-40 or some uh, food-grade mineral oil or whatever on these things and get them. Or if you don't want to do denim, you can get these in rich light. Did, have you seen that? Yeah, you can get them in the red or the blue rich light, which is really nice uh, as well. So, phew, that drops really nice. Now I'm going to have a bunch of denim sheepdog things, but uh, ceramic. Uh, bearings and wow yeah but it's not it's not it's not a huge knife but it's considered the full-size one right it's not a mini it's not the XL three and a half now nah, we're struggling I think they're going 3.3 and they're probably right about that depending on where you want to measure it but overall seven and three quarter ish and at about 19 and a half centimeters okay so, but it's, it's not real heavy, it's not real big, and it's, you know, 0.48, that's pretty slender as well in the pocket, 12.2 millimeters, and what do we got, 2.8, 2.7 millimeter, 0.11, so I kind of just call it 3 millimeter and to hell with it, but yeah, that's where it is, and throw this around a little bit, okay. Whoops, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, yeah, they got a pretty good edge from uh, from the factory. So, and you know what? 154 cm is not real difficult to sharpen or strop up either. Okay. So there's that as well. And, you know, I don't know that it needs to have this black on it, but I mean, it's just kind of sets it off with the red and the blue and the denim type thing. So I think it's the look more than anything else. As, you know, because it's got plenty of chromium in it to keep it corrosion resistant, that kind of thing. But yeah, the ergos, wow, they're really good. And reverse grip feels good too. So it's a great carry knife. It's really interesting in that regard. And you know what? Let's just... Let's see what it's all about. Let me grab my uh, drivers here and my KPL. And we, we don't have any uh, way to get in from that side, but I think it's a captured pivot. Sure feels like it is. And you know what? It's not real interested in cooperating, is it? Woo! Woo! Part of my liver, I think, just detached. Wow, that was that was pretty. We got number eights here. Come on, I don't want to lose any more body parts. Trying to get you to. Or is that whole thing? Turn no, no, it's not. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Bust, bust loose. Okay, we got that. We're getting things to detach. I don't know. Let's see where we are here. Okay. 
just trying to get them to behave. Now, uh, number six, I think, on the pocket clip. or that just going to come off anyhow, isn't it? You know what? It's just going to come apart. I didn't need to do that. So let's uh, let's put you out. Did I even really bust it? Yeah, I did. I busted that loose a little bit. Okay. So here we are. Um, we got nested liners. I guess that's another thing I forgot to bring to your attention with a ceramic detent ball here. Of course, that's where the stop goes. Oh, here's the surround, I guess, for the front. Okay. So that's the, no, this is the lock bar side. And there's the surround for that. What else have we got? Okay, so there's that. Here's our presentation side. Yeah, captured pivot, you can see it's squared off there and that mates in with, with this here. And then there's your stop and skeletonized nested liner. And there's your, um, oh, and so we're splitting the difference with the standoffs, one here. And one here, just because that one was being stubborn about coming out, so we just split the difference with them. And there's that. It doesn't look like any... That's super clean, isn't it? Super clean, and then there's your... I mean, there's there's your bearings. It, it, whew, whew, that was easy. Uh, there's just not a lot to it. There's your disassembly. Sheepdog. Yeah. It's uh, it's interesting. I like the denim series. I, I think this is a good deal to get this. And these are not very expensive knives, but 154 cm, comfortable grip. I like the denim micarta. It's really it's really grippy. You know, it's nice and it looks good too. So check it out if you want. I'll give you the link to Kaiser. Check out their discount section that they have as well, plus, you know, the various and the sundry uh, knife sales as they come and go, you know, specials and discounts, that kind of thing, and the Friday Club. And you guys, stay sharp.